welcome to the Crystal Mermaid Daily Stone for Saturday, August 5th, 2017. My name is Jessica. I am a mystic, holistic healer, and intuitive light worker, utilizing the energetic, metaphysical, and elemental properties of crystals, rocks, and gemstones to share intuitively guided messages of love and light. For today's Daily Stone, I am intuitively guided to the stone tourmaline, the crystal tourmaline. Ancient Egyptians say that the tourmaline crystal was pulled from the core of the earth and on its way through to the surface, it passed through a rainbow and the tourmaline crystal therefore is found in almost every color of the rainbow, as well as multicolored tourmaline crystals. This particular tourmaline is from the Himalaya mine in San Diego. It was mined by my partner. And in this collection, I have green tourmaline, and I have pink tourmaline. The green color often coming from chromium and the pink color often coming from manganese. So I also have down here, I have a small little box that all of these are in, some yellow clear tourmalines. So tourmaline is a very ancient stone and it's been used for shamanic practices and it's been used in ceremony for many thousands of years and across many different cultures. Tourmaline is good for all chakras, but depending on the color may be associated with one chakra or the other. The green tourmaline, for example, being associated with the heart chakra. Green tourmaline is a seer of the heart. So bringing love, bringing love into your life, bringing more love from within to bring outside to the world. The pink tourmaline is associated with between the heart to the crown chakra, bringing love in the physical form with love in the spiritual realm together so that you can live in your highest, in your purest. Um, this tourmaline in particular is a reverse watermelon. A watermelon tourmaline typically has a green rind and a pink inside like a watermelon. And this tourmaline crystal has a pink rind and a green inside. And it actually has a little bit of a garnet, making it all that more powerful is a multi multi-functional crystal this tourmaline right here all the tourmalines really are this one here is a healed tourmaline tourmaline is a very strong healing stone the shamans use tourmaline and it's said that this is what created a lot of their power brought forth their power to be able to heal this tourmaline is healed as you can see, it was broken or fractured a long time ago, and then it heals itself. Here's another example of a healed tourmaline. You can see right where that bend is, that it cracked off, and then healed itself over time, creating the terminated edges. And tourmaline will do that a lot. It's, it's a self-healer. And at the end of the day, we're all self healers. Whatever tools that we choose to utilize to bring forth that healing is up to us, but we're the ones who heal ourselves. So this tourmaline, green, pink, it comes in brown, black is a very common color. There's actually, if you hold this up in the, in the right light, there's a little bit of blue inside this green tourmaline crystal. The blue being associated with the throat chakra, the third eye, and the crown. So as you can see, it really is a 
multi, multi-faceted stone. So <laughs> I have a case down here with a bunch of them in there, trying to bring some of these colors so you can see the colors, big and small. But overall, tourmaline is a color, is a stone <laughs> of healing. And it's a stone of power through love. So using tourmaline when you want to find compassion and you want to bring light to a situation where balance is needed. It's a stone of yin and yang. It's a stone of left and right brain, a stone of balancing the masculine and the feminine. So beautifully represented across the spectrum of color, across the spectrum of light by the many different rainbow shades of energy that the tourmaline has to offer us. So today's message, compassion and love, love of self, love through self, loving others as you love yourself. <laughs> Thank you for joining me here on the Crystal Mermaid Daily Stone. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube, follow on Facebook, Crystal Mermaid. I'm on Instagram at Crystal Mermaid Healing. I'm also on Twitter, at Crystal Mermaid, the letter T. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to send me an email, crystalmermaidhealing at gmail.com. As always, the stones that you see in all my videos are available if you have any interest in utilizing the metaphysical, energetic, and elemental properties of these wonderful crystals, rocks, and gemstones for yourself, please reach out and let me know. Be sure to step into your light and let your colors shine bright. Thank you for joining me. Aho.